Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to part 2 of Scripting for Beginners, and today we'll be covering variables. This may be one of the most important things you'll ever learn, so let's get started. So what are variables? A variable is basically a name that holds a value. Variable values can be anything like numbers, strings, booleans, and more. Basically, variables store information. So there are two types of variables, global variables and local variables. Global variables are accessible from anywhere inside the script, while local variables are only accessible inside the code block in which they are defined. So how do we set the variables? So we start off by writing local, and then your variable name, so let's call it my name equals, and then the value you wanna set, scriptix. You can print out the variable. So let's print my name. And it prints scriptix. They can also hold numbers. So you could do my number. My number equals 10. And print that out. And it gives you 10. All right, but let's say you want to reference something else. So let me create a part and put it inside the workspace. And I'm going to call this part cool part. Now I can reference the part and assign it to a variable by doing local my part equals, and then you reference the part game.workspace.cool part. And then from there I can use the variable that I've created and change the parts properties. So I can do my part dot transparency equals one. So this will turn the part invisible. As you can see, it's completely transparent now. So in this case, the variable helps save time. So if I want to change a lot of properties, I don't have to write game dot workspace dot cool part every single time. So I could just use my part, my part dot transparency, my part dot anchor. So yeah, that's about it for variables. Stay tuned for episode three, where we'll go over functions. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.